Now the name Dej Loaf is a combination of shortening your first name Deja mm -hmm. and your love for shoes, kicks, loaf. So just tell me about this sneaker shoe love. I used to be really into it like right. in my younger days. Like I would cry if I didn't get the new Jordan that come out every Saturday. <laughs> I always like from when I was a baby, Jordans, Nikes, right, Adidas. Right. I was a tomboy, so I wore all the gym shoes. And when I got to high school, like, I, I told myself, like, I'm about to switch it up a little bit. I'm about to start wearing, like, loafers, you know? Mm. That's what I told myself. Nobody was around me. I'm like, I'm about to start wearing loafers, and they're going to start calling me Deja Loaf. <laughs> and that's how I got my name. Like, I made it up, and I was just like, you know. And I didn't even get into wearing loafers, because at the time, I couldn't afford them. Just stuck to the Jordans. I still wear one right. Jordan, but my name was Deja Loaf. Nice. It's pretty dope. You said, um... Something that you really believe in is that you have to follow your dreams. So when did you first start dreaming of being a rapper? I grew up um, as a kid. Everybody know me from like the projects that we stayed in. I was like the basketball kid. Like I woke up, okay. they knew who was bouncing the ball outside there. I was like, Word. it was me. So I had like hoop dreams. I thought I was gonna be like in the WNBA. But right. you know, once I got to high school and I realized like, you know, I kind of got skeptical about it. I was like, yo, this is not for me. Right. So I kind of quit, you know, and I don't encourage anybody to quit, you know, stick to it, but I quit and I got more into the music. Like I always been writing when I was young. There was always something about music that I just loved. So I just, like I say, when I got um, out of high school and I broke out of my shyness and my shell, I'm like, if you're gonna do this music, you have to really go hard. You have to really, you know what I'm saying? Be right. into it, you can't be, you know, shy about it or, let it, let it hold you back. So after I put out the mixtape, I'm like, if I can do this, I can do it, you know, I can go right. on. Because it was, it, was, it was rare that you hear stuff like this, like from, yeah. from a female, you know. And that was just Absolutely. me gaining confidence because I didn't have it growing up. So now I'm more confident in who I am. Wow. And I was like, yo, if somebody hear this, I'm on. You know what I mean? That's what's up.